Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya Okia. Welcome back to another video. So if you are new to the Divine Ones family, I want to welcome you. Come on in, come on in, come on in, baby. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload new content here on my YouTube channel. If you are not following me on Instagram, make sure you go look me up. Follow me on Instagram at I am Latoya Okia for sh more short form content. And I also do Instagram uh, lives as well as YouTube lives here on the YouTube platform. So the podcast as well if you a podcast listener make sure you look me up divine destiny with latoya so you can get that audio on the go baby get that podcast wherever you listen to podcasts from make sure you're following me leave me a review on apple podcast all that good stuff baby okay so come on in come on in listen this is what i want to tell you today it's gonna be real quick but it's gonna be just what you need I heard a quote one time that said, it's not what you do one time, it's what you do over time, over a period of time. Consistency is the name of the game. And I have learned this for anything that you want to accomplish, for anything that you want to do, listen, you have to master consistency. I don't care if it's uh, health and fitness. If you're trying to build a better body, you're trying to have better health and fitness and you started your wellness journey, doesn't matter if you want to have a better relationship, a better marriage, uh, you want to be successful in business, you want to be successful as a mother, you want to climb the corporate ladder on your nine to five, have better friendships, whatever it is, whatever area of life that you want to be successful you have to understand that this key is the key that's going to unlock that success for you. And that's by you being consistent, being consistent. I'm displaying that right here, right now on this video. I'm using one of the keys of the kingdom of God. I'm, I'm just, you know, pull up my phone here in my truck set it up it's a lot going on around me right now where i am but i still got to be focused and so that brings me to my next point with consistency your life is not going to always align itself in in a way where it's going to be easy for you to be consistent most of the time it's going to be very hard for you to remain consistent it's going to be very hard for you to stay on track it's going to be very challenging for you to stay focused on your goals but that's just it baby you got to have your goals and you got to be focused you got to have them in front of you so every day when you get up whatever area of your life that you are trying to be successful in you need to have a goal set for that area and then you need to read that goal when you get up every morning okay you need to start your morning give god the first fruit of your day so what does that look like what does that mean that means that you getting up in the morning you praying you meditating you getting in a place where you can hear god you get your journal you get your blue ink pen and you start writing you start writing, you write your goals, you write your feelings, you write out your emotions, you set the intention for your day. How do you want to feel today? What do you want to accomplish today? What do you want to accomplish this week? So you can't just drift throughout your life and get up every day and live life just seeing what's going to happen. We can't live or just go with the flow type of life because we'll never accomplish anything. We'll never be able to be consistent in any area of life when we just going with the flow. So I want to challenge you on this video. I want to, to urge you, to push you, that if you do not have a goal, that I want you to make this your season, make this your year where you begin to set goals for your life, set goals for yourself as a mother, set goals for yourself as a father set goals for yourself as uh, on your job don't become complacent on your job but say to yourself okay if i like this company and i can see myself growing in this company let me set a goal okay and let me be consistent and work a little bit towards that goal every day so that i can begin to climb the ladder here on my job 
or if you want to be successful in business then you set a goal for your business how much money do you want to make um how many people do you want to reach what problem are you solving how do you plan to solve this problem what platform what social platform are you going to get on and are you going to use this platform to reach the masses to reach the people to reach the people that are target audiences for your business and for your products and your services so you have to be very intentional you have to be very intentional about your about your growth you have to be very intentional about your vision because in order for you to be consistent, you got to have your destination. You got to have your goal at, at in front of you at all times. It's got to be in front of you at all times because it's going to be moments where you're going to want to throw in the towel. You're going to want to give up. You're going to want to say, this is too hard. I can't do this. I didn't sign up for this. But you got to remember your why. You got to remember what you're working for. Remember the goal. Remember the end. Um, and then just consistently moving towards what you prayed for. See, we got to be the type of people. I heard a quote one time say, I'm the type of person that I pray for something. And when I finish praying, I get up and go get what I just prayed for. And that's the way we got to be. We're not sitting and waiting for God to drop something out of the sky for us. We understand that we have a part that we play in our breakthrough. You have to understand you have a part that you play in your miracle, in your breakthrough. You are the breakthrough. You are the miracle. Y'all know we say that all the time. All my divine ones, I want y'all to go down there in the comments, baby. And I want you to put that in the comments. Say, I am the miracle. I am the breakthrough. I must participate in my miracle. I must participate in my breakthrough. I love the way my good friend Terry Kowser say it, say it all the time. She say you got to participate in your own rescue. Participate in your rescue. God is breaking you out. He's breaking you free. But it takes your participation as well. God is going to need you to be consistent. He going to need you to work that thing slow and steady. And that's what I'm doing right here, right now. I'm working this thing slow and steady. And when I get to the place that God has for me, when I get to that promised land season, it is not going to be because of what I did on this uh, one video or what I did on that one video or that one video or that one event. No, it's going to be a combination of things that I did over time. And that's what I want you to understand. That is not what you do one time, but it's what you do over time. This is what separates the real from the fake. Because anybody can have a good day. <laughs> anybody can have a good month in business. But can you consistently have good months back to back to back? Anybody can have a good day or a good hour. But can you consistently be full of love and joy and happiness and compassion every single day? Like day in, day out. Yeah, you have your moments where you're going through because that's just life and you're human. But over time... The majority of the time you're smiling, you're pleasant, you have good energy, you have a good spirit, you, you're walking with the anointing, with the presence of God. It's not what you do one time, but it is what you do over time that's going to determine your success in the kingdom of God. God is looking for some people that can be faithful. He's looking for some people that can be long suffering because that's one thing about God, baby. He is long suffering. He going to stay right there with you. As long as you stay with him, he going to be right there with you. God put you in a slow cooker for a reason, baby. Y'all know we talk about that spiritual slow cooker. God put you in that slow cooker for a reason. He know what he doing with you. He knows the way that he takes you. He needs you to be consistent. So what does that look like? Every day, you got to get up and do things that are going to move the needle in your life. You can't do things that's going to take you back to where you came from. You can't be connecting with people that remind you of where you came from. But being consistent for the kingdom of God, being consistent in your purpose, what does that look like? You connecting with other like-minded individuals, other kingdom-minded people. You getting up every day. You got your goals in front of you. You got your vision in front of you. You're focused. See, when you focus on your goals and your vision, your mind, there's a power that kicks in in your mind and your mind starts to scan your environment. It starts to scan your environment and it starts looking for the things that you need to help that, to help you reach that goal, to help you bridge that gap between where you are now and where you're trying to get to. 
That's the power that God placed inside of you. But it only works when we are focused on the right thing. It only works for the good for us when we are focused on our goals and we're focused on the purpose that God has for our life. Then and only then we can be consistent. We can be consistent and then that's when we can reach a true level of success. So I urge you today, I challenge you today to have a spirit of consistency. If that's not you and you struggle with that, then you got to begin speaking against that. The Bible says we have to call those things that be not as though they were. So if you're an inconsistent person, then you recognize that you write that down. You understand that that, that is a limiting belief. That is a blessing blocker that's keeping you from your next level. And it is not a trait. It is not a habit that uh that serves you in the next season of your life so you understand that this trait this behavior pattern cannot go with me anymore so what do you do get your journal get your blue ink pen write that down write down the negative traits about yourself that you don't like that you want to change and then you flip that into a positive you start telling yourself i am consistent i am dedicated i am motivated i am disciplined for the kingdom of God. I am determined. This is the work. You got to do the work and you got to do it over and over and over because it takes repetition in order to break those toxic habits and in order for you to build new habits that are going to develop success in your life. Okay. I am Latoya Okia. I love you so much, baby. I made it through this message. I had to push because it is so many distractions going on around me right now. But God said that right there is a lesson within itself. You got to know how to stay focused. Out of all the people that's walking by and cars driving by and people blowing and shopping and all kind of stuff and laughing and parking and driving and moving. It's a whole lot of moving parts, but I must remain focused on this camera right here and channel my thoughts into and come out as words so that I can speak this message to you so that it can bless you so that it can help you. And that's the way you got to be in the midst of everything that's going on around you. You got to fight, baby. You got to fight. Somebody put that in the comments. Say the fight is on. You got to fight to be consistent. You got to fight to be focused. You got to fight to win against the distractions in your life. It will not always be easy, but you can do it. You can do it. All you got to do is have your goal. And you're going to have days where your pace will get a little slower. And some days you will speed up and get a little faster. But remember, even if you fall today, even if you make a mistake, Thank God that our success is not determined by what we do one time. So that that's for the good and the bad. That means even if you fall, you make a mistake, you do something boneheaded, guess what? There's grace. God has given you grace to be able to get back up again, correct that mistake, make it right, and don't do it no more. He's giving you, he's giving you that grace to be able to do that. It's because your, your success is not determined by what you do one time. So you, you mess up one time. God said, that's all right. Get back up. Keep going. And then you got to look at it on the flip side. When you have a good day or you have a good moment where you make an accomplishment, you can't rest there. You can't stop there because your success is not determined by the one win that you had and the one good day that you had. It's what you get up and do consistently over a period of time. Okay. I am Latoya Okia. I love you so much. Don't forget to get your tickets to the Divine Ones Tour. We're going to be in Atlanta, Georgia on April the 8th, 2023. And I want to see you in the building, baby. You can find the link below in the description to get your tickets. I want to see y'all in the building, baby. I am Latoya Okia. I love you so much. And I'll check in with y'all later.